In today's video, we're gonna be heading out on my buddy's sick bass boat to go ahead and slam some giant spotted bay bass. So stay tuned. You guys won't want to miss it. Um, I've, I've seen that. Oh, am I getting bit? Um. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice fish. Oh, come on, oh, come on. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a nice. Oh, that's a nice one. That was that was back to back right there. Catch you later. Catch you later. Appreciate you playing. Thanks for playing. Hey you guys, welcome back to the video. So guys, in today's video, we're gonna be smashing the harbor. One of my buddies invited me on his sick bass boat, so I was all down. We we're gonna be hitting Myrna del Rey, probably catching some spotties or some other species too, but primarily spotties, those things are so fun. They're so aggressive. And if you guys wanna see the gear that I use in today's video, go ahead and stay tuned to the end and I'll explain all the gear that helped us get bit. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. I'm gonna get you guys straight out onto my buddy's boat. I really appreciate you inviting me. We'll see you guys right on the water. Nice. Oh, yeah. Man, I, it, little spotty. Line was going and the line said, Shoo. Yeah. <laughs> nice little one. Oh, man. You want to get on the troll or what? I mean, I can try. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you try? Come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a spotty. Yeah. Oh, you got it on. Use the Oh, you threw a smaller bait on there. No, it's the same bait. Same bait. Same bait. Same bait. Same bait. Yeah. There you go. Pumpkin plastics. Well, you can stay up there. Like a little fluke like that. Yeah. Alright, so I felt that bite pretty hard. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Absolute destroyed that punk and plastics fluke. Black and white. That's a nice fish. Solid. Yeah. Now that's a. Yeah, that's illegal. It's 14. Nice. Solid. Oh, just, just fell out. Yeah, that thing. Nice. Nice, nice fish. I'm gonna let him free. Right, bud. Catch you later. Sheesh. Yeah. It's like a little bitty motor. It's small, but it's but it's a like a trolling motor. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. But I. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting, am I getting bit? Oh, I'm on. There we go. First ever one on the Dimiki. Oh, on the, on the Dimiki. Yeah. On the Axe Blade. Let's okay. freaking go. Don't come off, don't come off. Woo! Let's go. I thought he was gonna come off. Okay, okay, this is my boy. He's got one on the Dimiki. Let's go. So look. Axe Blade. The Axe Blade, okay. He's teaching me how to fish today. Oh, uh, nah. All right, so uh, I'm gonna let him go ahead and beat that. All right. There we go. Tamiki Axe Blade finally caught one on there. Sick. Sick little spotty. Probably like 12 inches, right? It's probably, yeah, you fought pretty good. And yeah, 12 and a half, 12, yeah. Not bad at all. Appreciate you playing. Yeah, so I've never caught a legal calico, which is pretty sad, I gotta say. Red snapper right there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's fighting hard. 
Oh yeah, that's a nice. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a chunky fucking I don't think I've ever caught one that. That's a nice looking head. It's like all orange. Look at this thing, bro. Sheesh. No, that is a yeah. That's a nice fish. Good. I'm not sticking my hand in that mouth. Nice fish. All right, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I don't, I don't want to kill him. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Yeah, that's a nice fish. You want to measure him? <gasps> no. Right. See you later, bud. Actually, you on? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, might be a bat ray. That can definitely be a ray. Man, I don't know. Yeah, he's heavy, but he ain't taking off. That's a bass. No way. I was just talking about this damn. Sheesh. That's a beast. It's a nice fish. He's not bigger than the other one, though. Yeah, but he hit that hard, obviously. Yeah, he did. You see how he was he ran off. off. <laughs> oh, no. My drag is kind of loose, though. That's why. I oh. Thing, I thought it was like a, I thought it was like a stingray. If I hadn't had yeah. him on this, tw uh, this 20 or 15 or whatever it is, it would have broke me off. I got it. You got it? Yeah. See you later. Oh, that was fun. Something smacked it and missed it, and then I got this bad. See, it came back. Nice. Yes, sir. Nice. My guy's killing it out here. It's his fourth fish already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice little one. Oh, he spit off some stuff. Yeah. Nice. That one's a bit smaller, I think. It's tiny, but man, I don't care, bro. Yeah, it's fun. And on that light, light line, light rod. What's that about? Nice. 12 inches? Yeah, pretty much. All right, bud. Catch you later. There we go. Little guy. On my custom little swim bed I made. Nice. That's what I like to see. Dude, he does not want to open. All right. Glad I made these swim baits. Nice little guy. Appreciate you, Biden. Catch you later. There we go. There you go. That was right after that other fish. My swim bait, what the heck? This swim bait I made. Dang, I just, I was literally throwing the hookup baits. I was throwing a jig. I was throwing the ax blade. And dude, I just tied on my swim bait. Literally second cast after that first fish. And another one just hit it. Artificial fishing head and my custom little, like, three and a half inch swim bait. Bam! Sweet! That was, that was back to back right there. Yes, sir. Nice! I'm gonna have to get some of your baits, bro. I'm I will, I, I'll give you some, don't worry. Look at the colors on that. It's like glowing. Appreciate you biting, my boy. Catch you later. Have a good luck. Um, I'm reeling and I'm but I'm giving it like occasional twitches, like, cause that's when they hit it. They, they'll follow it, twitch, boom, they attack. It's so nice. That's for sure. Woo. Sweet. Yeah, that was, yeah. Man, if I wasn't holding on to it, he'd have got me. Kind of hurt my ribs a little bit. Nice. Oh, oh he's choked this one, mate. Yeah, he did. 
And he ain't even that big, but he caught me off guard. <laughs> uh, he, ain't, he ain't that big, too, but when he took off. Yeah, that's a nice little off. one. He just blasted off to the left. <laughs> I thought it was big the way he took off. Yeah. You, you just push your finger? Try? <laughs> I got it. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's in there pretty good, bro. It looked like it. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh, you can you want me to toss him? Yeah, you can toss him. All right. The little one he just caught. I got to catch one now. All right, bud. Thanks for playing. All right, my boy. I appreciate it so much. Yes, sir. Next yeah, I'll send you the pictures. Let me know next time. We'll head out. Yeah, I can't wait to catch that legal. So see you, bro. All right, that was an epic, epic trip. We absolutely smashed the harbor. He definitely beat me. It was five to four. One of these next videos, I'm definitely going to have to rematch him. I'm going to explain to you guys all the gear that I used in today's video and what helped me get bit. So I actually only brought one rod with me, which was, was me just packing super light. And I kind of enjoy it. You just bring your favorite combo. So what I was using was this Guggen Squad go-to Baycaster rod. And I got this Luz reel right here. I actually have no clue what it's called. Let me search it up. All right, yeah, this reel is called the Luz BB1 Pro reel. It's crazy nice reel, super, super lightweight. And the matte black on it with these like super shiny like handle finish, it's super nice. And then I got 40 pound braid, this smooth braid, it's so nice on your thumb. And it also, it casts so far and it's pretty thin for 40 pound braid. It's some Japanese company. And for leader, I'm throwing 20 pound Seaguar Basics fluorocarbon, just some cheap fluorocarbon from Walmart. I should probably get specific leader material, but that's what I had and that's what I used. 15 is usually what I throw, but recently I've been just super tired of breaking off, so I've been throwing 20. That's, that's just my personal preference for right now. For the lure that I was using, mainly super nice artificial fishing swing head. I actually really like them. I've been throwing my little custom swim baits that I've been making, and Quick tip, if you rip the swim bait, you guys can just flip it upside down and you guys can fish it this way. It has the same amount of action and even gives it a little bit of a different kick. Really can get the fish to bite. And yeah, I really enjoy that. That was a little swim bait that I made. I even ended up making a bunch more. That one looks really, really nice. Yeah, so stay tuned. I'm definitely gonna be have to head out again. An absolute kill on these specific swim baits that I made. Another really nice lure that got bit was this pumpkin plastics fluke right here. Threw it on a four uh EWG hook with like a three eighth ounce bullet weight. And I was just bouncing this around on the bottom and it gets bit. So I really appreciate you sending this out to me. Super, super nice pumpkin plastics. And lastly, I also chucked around a Damiki ax blade. Um, I don't have it anymore because I did snag it like a couple casts after I caught that fish, but all these baits work well. Stay tuned. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of some really cool lure projects. So that's pretty much everything for the gear. I hope this helped you guys out in any way. And guys, just get out there. Go chuck around some swim baits or some flukes. I can guarantee you guys will get bit. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Thank you so much for letting me on your boat. Thanks to everyone who sent me any lures and... Without further ado, we'll see you guys right on this video right over here.